Greetings, YouTube. Happy uh, Sunday. This is um, pretty exciting. This is the first time I've recorded a video since getting one of my uh, birthday gifts. You see, this is this is the hat that I've worn for years. It's about five dollars from Target, and um, I think it was made I don't know close to twenty years ago. But my girlfriend, who some of you met last night in the live stream, and others checked out when she uh, opened the six star for me. Uh, she bought me a, a new set of hats for teaching and for my channel. I've got this this gray one, which I think you know looks pretty cool. I'm a fan. And then, for the first time, I've got like a darker black one. I don't. Maybe I'll uh, switch them out from time to time. Maybe there's one you all like more. I don't know. But what I do know is that hats off to my girlfriend Israel for such an amazing gift. And I think, since I'm used to wearing a, a gray one, we're going to start with the gray one as we go into a pretty exciting video from Infinity, uh, who hit me up with some, um, shall we say, next level gameplay, and I think it's Alliance War gameplay, uh, from Spider-Man 2099 at rank 4. He said, he seems complex, but he's very simple to use. First of all, he can't gain any buffs, which is an amazing piece of utility to have. Red Guardian also doesn't gain buffs, but Spidey is on a whole new level. Spidey applies exhaustion on his heavy, ruptures on basic combos, special one applies physical vulnerability, which extends the debuff pause timer, special two activates the wither debuff, which reduces power gain by 125%, and you can stack this to five. Now you understand how he places debuffs, you have to understand how to use them correctly. Also, his special three applies slow, which is amazing, especially for this season's Alliance War tactic. Special 2 deals a burst of physical damage depending on how many unique debuffs you have on the opponent. And yes, Mr. Fantastic Pre-Fights count too and helps the damage a lot. When you apply a Wither on the opponent and then you hit their block, you apply Ruptures which deal additional damage. When you have all these debuffs on the opponent, your main goal for optimizing them is by keep uh, dexing because whenever Spidey gains a buff, he pauses all of his active debuffs. Mr. Fantastic Pre-Fights don't pause. So this can have all his debuffs active on the opponent if you keep dexing, which is amazing. Um, hope that helps a lot. Uh, gameplay should help too. So he sent all these videos with his rank four six star Spider-Man 29. And you can see he is a rank four 35,667 health, 4,432 attack. So, let's just check out some fights, shall we? Now, I gotta be honest, I don't, I don't have this guy. I don't use him. But I do know that a lot of you do. So, here we go. Alright, building up the ruptures. I mean, again, the damage isn't amazing at first. But it's not supposed to be, in a way. I don't know. It's not like you're watching Cosmic Ghost Rider, right? Who people are asking me, since I took my first Rank 4, if you missed that video, I was so excited to bring up, to talk about a birthday gift to myself, my first Rank 4 to um, be Corvus, who's going to be my next one? And honestly, I think it might be Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now, I did something unique. When I put my Masteries back after the Kang fight, I maxed out glass cannon again and because of that um the damage has been through the roof for both corvus and cosmic ghost rider especially since i've been testing them on the cosmic cavalier event quest and so now i'm like well shoot my next rank four in terms of damage needs to be cosmic ghost rider corvus is my first ever rank three um so cosmic ghost rider will be rank four so again it's a decent fight you know we're on a timer right now of uh over a minute and a half, but it's like a void type effect. Look at all of those ticking debuffs down. Look, look how good he's playing with them. I mean, this is top tier Spider-Man 2099 gameplay in my book. All right, now here is a very annoying fight. I don't know about you, but I hate fighting Mojo. And because I'm a noob, a lot of times I won't keep track of why I'm even degenerating. I'll just start degenerating and I'm like, oh, this sucks. I'm going to die. And then guess what? I do. 
Crazy, right? Spoiler. All right. Ruptures. Ruptures some more, up to 12 already. And he's not doing any degen. He's immune to some of the effects. Immune again. And boy, this fight. Look at that. Intercepting. Woo! Like clockwork. The parry, the heavy. Baiting the special one. He's making this look like you're fighting a three star. And then that special too. That was an incredible fight. Alright, the last one was a minute and a half. This was less than a minute. That is amazing. Wow. All right. Man thing. He is jumping right in. I really do think my takeaway is when you master him at rank four, he's a game changer. If you were to say in terms of utility, he's the best science champion. And of course, people are going to say, what about Quake? Well, Quake's not a six star. Hopefully she will be, but I think there's a reason why Kabam is held off from making her a six star. They hate that we have figured out ways to make her beat the game on so many nodes where she's not intended to beat the game. And so they don't want to quake with even more attack and health than uh, she already has as a five star. So five star quake aside, if you're going to talk about a six star that's available as the science class, Spider-Man 2099, when you master him, like our man here did, there's just, there's really no top in him. Look at all of that damage tick away. The ruptures and the rupture blast are blasting away his health. And if you combine his utility with this man's skills to infinity, literally and beyond, worth of intercepts and when to, say, fire off the special two and to do a heavy attack and to parry. Uh, and look, there was a mistake there, which I actually appreciate. I like when people take damage in videos because I identify with that more. Uh, I actually appreciate when I was talking about how I've never felt more pathetic and worthless as a failure in my life than trying to fight the final Kang boss in Act 7 after so many of you had shown YouTube videos that made it look like the easiest fight ever and I would look like the hardest fight ever. Actually, made it look like I'd never touched the game in my life. Like I just downloaded it for the first time and just jumped in despite the hundreds of thousands of fights I've done. That's, that's how terrible it was. And uh, I had people yesterday say, Prof, you should play more live so that I can feel better about my life. I can feel better about my experience. My uh, gift to my subscribers and even people who don't subscribe to me seems to be, hey, there's a YouTuber out there who sucks more than me. And I guess if that's my legacy in your life, at least I have one. But it also, it can be tough on your mental health. Like when I did the gauntlet and I was actually proud of it, there were people who edited that, edited the video. They took the video off my channel and just edited my deaths just to laugh at me. That was the whole point of the video, just to laugh at how many times I died. And while I guess I'm flattered that somebody would go through the editing to make that happen, it, it it's tough on your self-esteem. Maybe you think it shouldn't be, but, um, you know, I'm trying to, to maximize my mental health. All right, look at Ebony Coleslaw Melt, by the way. Can we appreciate this? 1% damage lost, Ebony Coleslaw down. That's crazy. Oh, this is a longer video. Okay, so from Ebony Coleslaw to Terax. Ooh. I don't I never had to fight Ebony Coleslaw or Terax in Alliance War. I'm so thankful. So incredibly thankful. Oh. This is Namor. Well, cool for the Namor fight, but well, that is not um so we're already flirting with 10 minutes and you know how I am on my channel. I don't like to put up videos that are 10 minutes or more because you get triple ads. So this is a domino fight, same concept. Um, this could easily be a 20 minute video, but I just, I don't feel comfortable putting those on my channel. So uh, thank you again to Mr. Infinity for the submission. I'm going to end it here. If, if people want to see more, maybe we can do a part two, but I want to get it on under 10 minutes. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you again for the birthday wishes and for the support with the uh, girlfriend reveal, as y'all are calling it. it. It really has meant a lot to me.